Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a report in Airtable in 2024. Reports are essential for summarizing your data and presenting it in an easy to read format. So in this video, basically, I'll guide you through the process of generating reports using Airtable powerful tools, including filtering, grouping, and summarizing data. So make sure to stick by Let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open it, go to the URL section. All you need to do is just type airtable.com and hit the enter button. If it's your first time, of course, you'll be taken here to this page. Here, you can go to the top right corner and click on sign in to sign in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, click on sign up for free in here or in the middle right here. Of course, you can use a Google account and Apple ID if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. You can even use this single sign on option if you want to use Airtable just once and maybe export your uh, work and never use it again. You don't want your work to be saved in Airtable if you want to. So once you're logged in, basically you find yourself here, which is the basically home uh, or dashboard of Airtable once you're logged in. And here, of course, if you don't have a workspace yet, you can simply come here, click on create or create a workspace, give it a name, whatever it wants, and your workspace will be created, of course, on the free plan, unless you have a plan. As you can see, the workspace will be empty, so you'll have to go and start creating some bases to create everything on it, including the report that we're making this video about. So for me, I'll just go and delete this workspace. I already have one. As you can see, I already have a lot of bases in here. If you don't have any, you can simply, or you have four options to create a base. You can start from scratch. Either as an example, start from scratch. As you can see, you'll find everything here, like uh, empty. Or if you want to, you can up import something from or upload something from one of the tools that's in here. If you didn't find what you want, you can always go here and click on submit a request. And you'll be taken to this page where you can submit, as an example, your request to add any app that you want. As an example, it's going to be here, as you can see. So if you didn't find what you want in the options right here, you can simply choose others, select what you want or tell what you want. And you can any other, any other thing that you want to share as an example. Then click on submit. Other than that, you can simply start with the templates. So they have multiple templates to choose from, as an example. So... If I scroll down here to the bottom, click on see all templates, you'll find multiple templates to choose from, each one for each category. For example, they have management templates, they have marketing templates. If you keep scrolling down, you'll find load more categories. If you keep scrolling down, you'll find load more categories. So you'll find a lot of templates to choose from. If you didn't want that as well, you'll have the final option, which is start with AI. This AI tool, you can simply just tell what you want to create and it will create it right away of course you'll see the preview of what's ai created here and you can choose if you want to use it or adjust it you have even here some suggestions if you don't know what to start with or what to tell ai you can also enter your organization uh, name example industry audience which will help you customize your experience even more and you can even choose colors those tops will require a team plan as well so once you created your base as an example you will be able to start using it however you want. And of course, once you start using it, you'll be able to go and create your reports in there. In there. So as an example, for me, let me just go and even delete this table because I created it just for tests. So as an example here, I have this uh, like data table, which is called projects as an example. So I have four tables here, uh, like project table, task table, assignments, and team members as an example. Of course, to create a report on Airtable, basically, we'll have to, and of course, when it's come to create a report, add an extension or two is a no-brainer. It's very good. So we go here to extensions as an example. As you can see, extensions give your base uh, superpowers. So you can go here and click on add an extension. And as you can see, you'll find the marketplace for extensions where you can find multiple extensions that will help you create in your report. So, for example, you can find extensions by Airtable, which is created by Airtable itself. Like we have the Vega Lite, which is, will build visualization using Vega Lite. This will summarize your records in a private table. This will import CSV file into your base. This will visualize, uh, as an example, 
a lot of things. So you can even search for something specific as example in here. And I don't know, you can go and also build the custom extension for you if you want to. As you can see, maybe if you're good at coding or it's up to you, basically. So for me, I'm not going to add this specific extension. It's not necessary, but I just want to mention that. Why? Because it's very, 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 very useful for you. It can help you or make your reports or... Yeah, it can make your reports, as an example, on another level, uh, if you compare it, as an example, with other people's reports. Extensions are no brainer and a game changer for you. So make sure to use them. Of course, you can just go and see the description of each extension and see the one that's going to suit your need. You can also view all the like extensions by your table, all extensions in general, uh, script extensions, featured expense, uh, extensions, and a lot more. So basically, uh, to create or i'll just tell you one thing like about the useful extensions i guess there is uh, an extension called like reporting or yeah so maybe it's this one i'm not sure but this one i guess is very useful for for like uh, reports i'm not very sure uh, of course where you can report with charts uh, report with summary uh, report with pivot table uh, you can report with a page designer you can report with multiple or create reports with multiple options and of course the extensions will help you a lot i don't know i closed the page by mistake let me just go back to that exact like uh, workspace so yeah here we are and yeah so basically to create one just go here to interfaces and as you can see for me i ordered like have something in here but for you of course you can always just go and click on plus button and here of course you can look at the option that you're looking for as example to create you can even see how this look on desktop and mobile example you can even start from blank reports and uh, start doing it all by your own you can add everything about it uh, like example uh, you can add some charts some stuff as i said and of course, once you're done, you can publish it and your reports will be ready in here. You can also, of course, uh, depending on the data uh, you have, it will like change here the interface because you, of course, you can connect your data to interfaces. And here, of course, you can, as we said before, filter them. Uh, you can add some conditions for filtering, for example, maybe project name, maybe it contains, maybe the value. You can also hide some fields, sort them. However, you want special if you have multiple here, data and etc. And this will help you a lot. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. So goodbye.